Welcome to John Tiller's Campaign 1776. We're playing the Battle of Cowpens. What? Again? Yes, we're going to play this time as the <clears throat> Continentals and Militia of Daniel Morgan's Three Line Defense versus the British Assault. Uh, I'm going to do, I played the British uh, yesterday, and I'm going to play the um, Continentals and Militia versus the British. This time I'm going to play the Continentals and Militia side, uh, led by Daniel Morgan. And basically you'll be able to do your choose your own side. You can watch either video or watch them both if you want. It's going to be Britain's turn first. So we'll let them go first here. A um, little bit of side note about this battle. Um, Daniel Morgan, this guy here, he was in command of the... Um, Combined Continental and Militia, for, Militia Force at the Battle of Cowpens. Morgan's uh, set up a what was deemed as one of the only original plans of the entire Revolutionary War, which was to set up three lines of troops. Militia in the first line, um, and these guys were basically sharpshooters, which is why right now in the options we're playing optional rule rifle fire effects, which uh, means that if they shoot towards enemy units, they're going to be shooting at officers. Um, and then the second line, he had more militia. And back here in the third line were the Continental Regulars from uh, Delaware and Connecticut. So, uh, or excuse me, Delaware and Maryland. Sorry about that. I always want to say Connecticut for some reason. But the, um, the Regulars were... Um, well drilled and they also had I think this is the Virginia militia here yeah the Virginia militia which were excellent troops as well so um, essentially we have this um, solid group of Continentals militia and militia and the order was for these militia troops to fire two shots and then withdraw um, to the left of the Continental lines the militia was led by this guy over here Colonel uh, Andrew Pickens. Andrew Pickens was a um, local guy, and he knew everybody, which was why um, uh, Morgan's force went from 1,000 men to about 2,000 overnight because <clears throat> Pickens put the word out that there was going to be a fight at Cowpens. The battlefield at the Cowpens is, is set up perfectly for Morgan's defense. <coughs> if you have a chance, I did um, some battlefield walks of the battlefield of Cowpens in my videos. If you're interested, check them out. Um, you know, I for, Please forgive me for the quality of the videos, but I walked the battlefield and, and uh, you can see exactly why Morgan's plan was so smart. Um, back here, the regulars were commanded by this guy here. Uh, Colonel J. Howard, and Howard was critical because uh, it was his command that, um, at, at Morgan's urge, his un uh, misunderstood command that caused this third line to, to withdraw prematurely, and as they uh, were withdrawing, Morgan came up, and, and um, Howard turned his men around and fired a volley point blank into the, Highl the Highlanders, which were attacking his flank over here, and that that volley into the Highlanders and to the rest of the British remaining forces turned the tide of the battle. In reserve, uh, actually in a fourth line, basically, um, Morgan had his cavalry. So if you're actually at the state, if you're actually at the National Battlefield Park, the um, the park is right about here. The actual the the office, and then you walk back. You know, you can walk these trails back, and then you hit to the the marshalling area for. Um, Washington's cavalry. Washington was a second cousin of George Washington. And one of the things you can see about this battlefield is that um, it's a funnel. It's basically a funnel and it doesn't present the British with an opportunity to flank. And Morgan knew his man who was uh, Banas Banaster Tarleton. Tarleton was an, uh, an aggressive commander. His soldiers had been up 44 out of the last 48 hours. And they'd had little to nothing to eat and been on the march for a good deal of that time. So they were very tired. On the other hand, uh, Morgan's men had the night um, on the battlefield. They were at Calpins intentionally because of the terrain. And two, because everyone knew where it was. And that's why a lot of the Continentals showed up at the battlefield. So um, my battle plan for this particular uh, scenario will be to tighten up this front line here. I'm going to move. Um, each hex is about 120, 145 feet. I think it is across so I'm going to tighten up my um, battlefield 
uh, and moving a little closer. The nice thing about Morgan's deployment at Cowpens and these is these lines are mutually supporting. <clears throat> these guys can get up here. These guys can get up here. They can all protect, support each other. But due to the time nature of this scenario, it's only got 12 turns. <coughs> I'm going to actually move these lines up, compact them a little bit, and um, we're going to get the terrain setting on. Because in this scenario, I've learned one thing. I'm playing it once before. The terrain is everything. So you need the map contours on. Because I'm going to deploy skirmishers, some of the militia, right along this little ridge line here. Um, if you're on the battlefield, you can see the slight rise going up here. The other thing is, is there's just no way this side of the battlefield here where the cursor is, um, there was uh, what, what are essentially bamboo canes that grew in here that really funneled the British troops. There was no opportunity for Tarleton's guys to flank these guys until they got back into here and the Highlanders were able to move up. So they basically pushed these two lines back. <coughs> the major engagement happened here and Washington brought up his cavalry. Eventually, the British, uh, through an inadvertent um, <clears throat> effect of this uh, withdrawal and return and, and turn around and fire, were caught in a double envelopment. So let's get the battle started. I'm going to move these guys like this. That's a good position there. Move them there. Oh, there's the fish. oh what did I just do? I didn't want to do that. Seriously, that just happened. Okay, well, it's all right. These guys have 12 movement. And next turn, I'll move them over. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Give them a volley. There we go. Uh, first blood to the Continentals. We're a little bit shy of... Okay, good deal. All right, now let's... Do here is move this unit to here. Guys here. Make sure that these guys are just a little bit. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's higher ground. The contour maps in this this game. Um need to <clears throat> unfortunately are hard to tell I mean I can tell now that th that that's lower and one of the other things I found out in this in this game is you want to keep your supply fairly close to your army so that your guys have ammo <coughs> apologize for my little cough here so I want to keep the supply moving up here yeah and let's keep Commander Morgan with his men here. There we go. And we're going to move our cavalry down a good deal here. Like a soccer score right now, or a football score. Football score is 1 0. There we go. And so now we're getting our deployment closer together here. As far as, okay, good. Be pretty aggressive this time. Maybe more than more, more aggressive than Morgan was in the actual battle itself. So we've only got 12 turns, and we just took up the first five minutes. Let's see what the British are gonna do. And they're deploying. The British brought two light cannons to the field, known as grasshoppers. They were smaller cannons, um, manned by about 50 troops. So, here we go. And they're deploying their grasshopper. <clears throat> As fatigue builds up, it's gonna, um, it will eventually cause your troops to break. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's give him at least one more volley. Those guys... They're in the woods, I can't imagine. Oh, they did hit him. Good. <clears throat> okay, they're... Okay, they can only hit these guys. Second line's getting set up. Morgan will be used to rally a lot of these guys. Cavalry over here. Full disclosure, I've played this scenario before, um, but I had trouble recording it, so we're gonna give it one more shot. And I've learned a little bit, so hopefully if I do worse this time, it's really going to irritate me. All right, that's going to do it for turn two for the Continentals. We're on British turn three. Let's see what they're up to. British troops already down on the field. They're going to be redeploying their troops in this woods here. There are two objectives. I'll show you those in a second. We'll add those to the so that we know that we need to hold. And it's part of the reason why I do record it. Oh yeah, we're <clears throat> we are causing them some grief. Now we're engaged on the second line. We are doing good. Morgan gave his uh, officers and his militia troops orders to fire two volleys. Ooh, nice. Yeah, oh boy, we had a bunch of guys break. Yikes. Got all of them in one place. Good deal. They were low on ammo, huh? Had them hold out a little too long, it looks like. Okay, let's redeploy these guys here. Get triplets boys up in here. There we go. Now we got our second line. Ready to go. Tate's company, Augusta Rifleman. And Buchanan's company, Augusta Rifleman. Hmm. And he's got, Tarleton's got Tarleton's Legion, which is these fellas here. And then he's got these Fusiliers. I think this is uh, Fusiliers here. Um, light infantry. And then he's got his Highlanders back here somewhere. Um, historically, they were placed in the, the rear and the left. And uh, they were en ended up being the flanking force that Tarleton attempted to use in the battle. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Wow, they put us put us on the back foot there with that route. Hmm. Okay, these guys are up into the. They're in the highway to the danger zone. Right? Nice. I could have turned to face them. 
You guys are all <clears throat> come they have to come to us this time. Time to put these men into line formation. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tip my hat as to or tip my hand as to what my cavalry's doing over here. I think these guys will be okay. Their ammo will be better as soon as they're rallied. We need them back in the fight as soon as possible. All right, that's going to end turn. I think it's three. Yeah, now we're into turn four. Mm. Highlanders. These men are from Fraser's Highlanders. They're led by... I can't remember their commander's name. It's McCarthy. We're giving these guys the business. Ooh, man, did they make a move? Triplets, boys. Or not triplets, but Georgia Rifleman next. Augusta. And now they're coming up to the so a perfect spot for us to put some volleys into them. That's Tarleton's cavalry. He's really working this flank. Oh, good. Looks like they rallied. Hey, does everybody... Yeah, everybody rallied. Morgan did his bit. Nice. These lads up here. Alright, let's pour it into them. Nice. We're doing some damage there. I'll just show you the... Oh, that was a great shot. Um, no leaders. means all the leaders in the unit have been killed. So these men, these men are leaderless. But they do have a, an officer in charge, so... And what we want to do is... Some of the units disrupted, which is going to cause them a problem. If they want to attempt to melee us... These poor guys are, yeah, their leaders are all gone now. And they're they're just going to feel, they're going to feel the wrath of, uh, these poor guys, they're in a bad position. Real bad. These leaders are down. They've got no officer. Be short a hex. Okay, yeah. They come. <coughs> I got 60 men left. No leaders. No leaders. One's disrupted. They're being enfiladed. That's a bad place to be. I'm going to move these guys up. And because we're going to start taking advantage of every McDowell's boys here. Boom. <coughs> All right, these guys are disrupted, so I can't change their formation, but what I can do is about face them. And what am I gonna do? They've still got movement. Let's just let that movement build up. Now, in fact, I might try to hold here one more round <clears throat> and then pull back, but we're doing a lot of damage. I mean, these units are, <coughs> are definitely Especially these poor guys here. These poor souls. Now we got another 
group coming up. This flank over here is the one that's got issues. So um, if I, as soon as these guys are reformed, they'll go into line. I'll be re I'll be uh, re in the middle. Oh, they are. My goodness, it's just uh, brutal. Our militia's doing good. Back here in a minute. Boy, having walked this battlefield, I feel it. You get a sense that there's really a higher risk. Just the way it plays out in this battle. One, one unit was checked for routing. <clears throat> I got one out of disruption. Hmm. This guy's status. We've seen nettles. These are dis dismounted dragoons. Well, it's time to start pulling back. out of position all right the question is okay good now the question is where do I want these guys deployed uh, I think I'm gonna move these guys here what the flip two guys I didn't want to do that darn it Movement allowance, gosh darn it. I'm all over there then. Do this, let's extend the line. Bring up our regulars. Hmm. All right, they're gonna double that line up. And let's put the fear of flanking maneuver by our cavalry over here. Perhaps that will. Put the fear, maybe they'll redeploy. 
So now we're in our third line and we're ready to go. All right, let's let's shoot. Do some shooting. You know we're doing damage. Ah, they're low on ammo. Okay. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, that's as close as you're going to get. That guy's low on ammo, so... There we go. Where are these guys? Okay, light blue means... Yep. Yeah. Nice shooting. Again, these Whew. All right, let's see what they do this turn. Oh, more troops coming up. Nice enfilade fire. They've got to be break. They're, it looks like they're launching the whole dang legion. They are falling. A lot of guys are falling in this battle. The AI's playing it totally different than they did. This cavalry's coming right up the middle. Amazing, those guys did not break. We're halfway through the battle. Oof. Ooh, five. That's eight down. We lost 10 to our 3, I think. Make sure these guys have supplies. Pour some more into them. It's 12. Fifteen.
Hmm, maybe I should dismount this cavalry. 50, 150 men are just sitting there waiting to be used. Um, in the actual battle, Tarlon's Legion did not get engaged, so... Got these guys, oh, enfiladed. This is all good thought, good stuff going on here. All real good. How about these guys here? Enfiladed, disrupted, no leaders with Lieutenant Nettles. Let's see what we can see. Whew. Hmm. Where's the rest of his army? Right, let's see what happens. Oh wait, how are these guys doing? Is everybody back? One guy is still out of it. Alright. I think those are haven't and Turn twice and deploy them into line. These lads, I'm going to move. Ugh. <coughs> All right, does it with them. Movement one and fatigue one. Okay, so they're done for this round. With they got Morgan with them, little reserve. Um, this line here. What about this guy? Can I still turn their facing? I can, which is good. I'll deploy them. I got a little reserve there. I am tempted to dismount this cavalry. I've never done it before, so let's do it. Yeah. All right. British turn seven. Oh boy. It's time to pull back this line. The nice thing is I'll be able to enfilade these guys in here when I move up. These men are in the Valley of Death. That's where they are. There's no way these guys are going to hold. Gotta be getting near breaking point. This entire attack is on the left
Pull back, boys. Can they pull back? Whew. Hopefully we can save them. All right. Go rally the boys. <clears throat> what does he got here? 30 men, disrupted, no leaders. Thirty men. Seventy men. Militia. All right, let's do this first. Let's start with these guys over here. Base problem. Problem now. Inflated, disrupted, no leaders. And generally speaking, bad idea to attack. Twenty two men in one round. That is the that would be the whole army. You guys have twelve movement points. Not yet, one more turn. Okay, some of the British are running, we know that. <laughs> This flank's gonna cave. Oh, here come the Highlanders. Here, that's what I want right there. There's an objective here. And there might be one here or here. 
There are, there are two of them on the field, which are worth 100 points, which is a good chunk of the battle. Oh, where's that? Where'd the kill come from? Pointing it at us. Yikes. These guys hold another second. Got a no. They're going to twenty some men left. Gosh darn it. Good deal, five down. Column, oh my gosh. Personal, I'm gonna calm the line twice. You like apples? I like them apples. <laughs> what am I going to do these guys here? And face your enemy. My goodness, how much more can they take? <laughs> We're starting to break. That's everybody.
Hold you madmen, hold! Oh good, they broke. being enfilated. He's got too many men. In the wrong direction. The gun's down. We took the grass out. The gun's down. They'll never make it. Way These guys are going to run. Man, he's really putting on the supply train. Amazing some of these units held as long as they did routed. Okay, let's do this. That's 22 men. Oh, these guys are low on ammo. Regulars, militia, 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 militia. These are the regulars here. Uh, regulars are going to have to hold the line. Not 
fatigue zero. These guys still routed? Okay, yeah, they are still. Phew. That's fired? They have, okay, good. Yep. Oh, yes, nice. That was what exactly what we needed. It's the Continentals versus the Highland. Oh, man, this is still... Light infantry, let me down. Your regulars, your continentals. You flank one unit and give them the bayonet and it's over? Come on, boys. All right, let's redress these lines. We got Morgan, Pickens, and 50 men. South Carolina State Troops. Five down. Nice. Still 30.
I don't think they can maneuver anymore. Shoot what we can shoot. Has fired, has fired, has fired, has fired. But he's fired. How are these guys doing? They're still disrupted. Still disrupted. Oh. Maybe as good as it gets. How you guys doing? Routed still. Uh, it sucks. Play those guys. Supplies close to our men. Oh my gosh, these these units have completely turned around on their sides. It's crazy. Units up here basically took off. Where's the bold Tarleton now? We got zero fatigue. Woo. Hmm, got these two units here. How are these guys doing? Fatigue 10 and fatigue 4. Fatigue 4 and fatigue 12. Ah, Morgan got his boys back. Good. These lads back into line. Deal, they're back in back in business. There we go. They won't be back in business in time, which is all right.
Daniel Morgan, that means you're you're busy here. Hmm. Should we advance? Hold them back. One of them. And. Ooh, good. Four more. I think one of our officers went down. Seven down. men right there. Washington's boys are doing some damage. They're out of movement. Okay. Last day. Dang it, I lost this high ground over here. That's Arthur over there. in this battle. Nobody routed. I can't believe nobody routed. Where is the bold Tarleton? Where is he? Four men down. Mind. Can't do it. Okay. Gotcha. Got left. Thirty men. Goodness. 
Man, New Marsh's men were good. It's too late for them. It has not fired. Can't fire at those guys. Put a volley in there. Where are you, Tarleton? That's gonna end it. Whew. Time limit reached and look at all these guys rallying back here. Let's see what the battle losses are. Woo. <laughs> Man. the objective points so they didn't get any points for that um, minus 109 just over the major victory so sweet major defeat for the British oh actually we're well over that number British losses were 400 369 men with one artillery piece and we lost 167 so yeah Daniel Morgan's men win again Fun battle to fight. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I did not secure my right flank on that ridge line. I should have used my militia reserves there. They did not do as good of a job on the left flank. Um, and that, that was uh, that was the difference in the battle. We could have done better had I had that militia instead of moving it to the, to the left of my line, moving it to the right towards that ridge that the British had to attack. Had I done that, darn it, I think we would have done a little bit better. But hey, it was a lot of fun to play. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, choose your side, Battle of Cowpens. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the battlefield.